Good morning, grade 11 students. I'm your math teacher. Hope all are okay. Today's lesson is about also antiderivatives. We have various cases of integrations. For example, we'd like to find the integration of 8x minus 6 over 2x squared minus 3x all to power 7. If you take two common factors in the numerator, you'll end up with 3x minus, excuse me, 4x minus 3, which is the derivative of the denominator. So we say let u equal to x squared minus 3x. You find du dx, then you find dx in terms of du. Second step is you substitute. You take two common factor. 4x minus 3 will be eliminated. You end up with integration of 2 over u to power 7 du, which is 2u to power minus 6 over minus 6 plus c, which is 1 over minus 3 into 2x squared minus 3x to power 6 plus c. Another example is we find the integration of x minus 2 over 2 over x squared minus 4x all to power 6 dx. Also, we say let u equal x squared minus 4x. You find du dx. You find dx in terms of du. Obvious, you have two common factors in the denominator. You substitute and you take the two common factor. You end up with integration of x minus 2 over u to power 6. Do you t into x minus 2? x minus 2 will be eliminated. You end up with integration of 1 over 2u to power 6 du, which is integration of u to power minus 6 over 2 plus c, which is if you substitute x squared minus 4x all to power minus 5 over minus 10 plus c. A third example is we would like to find the integration of tan squared x dx. As you know, tan squared x dx does not have a rule, but 1 plus tan squared x, there is a rule exists. So you add 1, you subtract 1, you don't change the value. By adding 1, you end up with integration of 1 plus tan squared x dx minus integration of 1 dx, which is, by the rule, Integration of 1 plus tan squared x dx is tan x, and the integration of 1 is x plus c. The fourth example is f of <coughs> the integration of 2x squared minus 3x dx. We know f of 1, it is minus 2. He's asking me to find f of x. Big f of x is the original function, and as you know, this 2x squared minus 3x is small f of x. So the original function is the integration of small f of x. You find the integration as we did before. You end up with this big f of x. But we know that f of 1 equals minus 2. You substitute for x1 and for y minus 2. You end up with this equation. You solve for c. c will be minus 7 over 6. So, the original function is f of x equals 2x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 minus 7 over 6. The fifth example is similar to the fourth one. We know the small f of x. We know that big f of 1 is 1. Find the original function small f of x is the integration of small f of x will be big f of x. You find the integration as we used to do. Then you substitute for x1 and for y1. You end up with c equal minus 13 over 15. The original function will be this function. For practice, these are five exercises. I hope you all understood. Meet you next time.